Hey everybody, I want to show you at the, at the market, not every market has this many. The one I go to at Sprouts will just maybe have one or two, but look how many of these jackfruit, I'm in heaven. I want y'all to look over here too. Look, they got like more here. I mean, it's loaded. Look at this. These are so beautiful and they are on sale. Like a big giant one like this is $12. And a little one normally it costs you twenty dollars, half the size of that. So this is a deal, man. I almost want to get two of them, but it's so it's going to be a lot of work to clean it. But I just wanted to show you guys. Look, look at that. This is fantastic. Look at the skin, y'all. This is my favorite one of my favorite fruits look how prickly <laughs> my favorite you guys so anyway i guess you guys know what time it is that's right jackfruit time and this is the one i'm getting this baby right here hi everybody welcome to the mythical forest with Dee, Dee and boris in the mythical kitchen i want to show you now we are about to start on the jackfruit. The one that I showed you at the store that I got. But I want to show you this. You know how I always use my trusty dog food bag? Well, I'm still using it. But guess what I did? I cut it. Mm, Look, it's long ways. Long as me. Yeah, I cut it in half. I cut the bottom and the sides off. And then I pulled off the zipper of the dog food. And now it's big. So... I can reuse this for my jackfruit. Clean it all up, and that's ready for the jackfruit now. And you hold on just fruit? a minute, and I'll show you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. It's heavy, you guys. Wow, that's a big one. Yes. This time I got a big one, and this time I hope, like I didn't do like last time. It's already starting to look. Yuckify. See that? Ew. So, I, I mean, it, it could probably. Ooh, look, look, that look, would be look, great look, for, look, look, look uh, how my hand is like. That would be great for a movie that. prop. Yeah. To like use brains. that. And, yeah, and like file it down and make it look like a head and then be like. No, but look how it's all gushed out like brains. Yeah. Like, like, stick bleh, your fingers on in it. Yeah, blah, blah. Look at that. I gotta get gloves on. Okay. There's a seed right there. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna get started on this. Uh, I need to spray it with some disinfectant spray. Yeah, some peroxide, and then I'll get started on cutting it up, and I'll uh, video that hyper fast for you guys. Okay? Time lapse. Time lapse. Thank you. Don't forget, I got my trusty bucket here on the floor. That's where I'm gonna throw all of the jackfruit parts for um, composting and the black soldier fly. Hey, everybody, we're going to get started. Got my gloves on. Oh, I forgot to spray the peroxide. Hold on a minute. All right, I'm just going to spray this with peroxide because you don't know what kind of germs are at the grocery store, how many people have handled these, but I can say it can't be too much handling going on because these are kind of prickly. So, but I still want to have, make sure that my knife, when I'm cutting into this, doesn't distribute bacteria or whatever into into uh, the fruit so okay and um, I had to put the fan on in the kitchen because I had to bring the fan in here because it's so uh, 80 degrees in the kitchen right now four o'clock all right so we got that and um, I'm going to be saving the seeds, although that's a lot of work, but I think I'm going to go ahead and save the seeds, cook them, that way I can make um, the hummus, and then I told you guys that you can freeze the hummus, but I froze it, and it's awful, it's like, it's like when you freeze mashed potatoes, they're, it's got a weird texture to it, so I... You can eat it. It just has a weird texture after it's frozen. Um, I guess freeze drying it might work. So 
that might be something I might try. So if I do that, I'll freeze it and then maybe put it on the freeze dry uh, um, tray when I'm freeze drying something else. I'll make some hummus and freeze dry it and see what happens. So, okay, let's get started. I got that ready now. Um, and I'm gonna cut just a little bit of this up with you guys first. Uh, in case you guys are here for the first time, Everybody knows that I love me some jackfruit. So I'm gonna cut this this way first. This is my trusty knife I always use and you wrap it with some alum, uh, aluminum, uh, some, <laughs> some saran wrap um, because there's this jackfruit has a milky petroleum type substance that oozes from it. That's why you gotta have gloves too. And that's why I have this bag to protect everything. Otherwise, you gotta use oil. If you're gonna clean it off, you get some coconut oil to clean it. I wanna show you what it looks like inside of here. Normally, I would cut it this way, but I wanna show you. So the part that you want are these little pods here. So normally, you wanna cut. We can do it like this today. The center, you don't need that center, it's like non-edible so let's see if I can show you here okay look these little pods are what you want and you don't want there's also like a little skin inside the middle of it so you want to take that off okay and so this is what you want this and um, let's see if I can do another one here this is the seed save the seeds they're highly nutritional and uh, let's see if I can this is very time-consuming but it's so delicious it's like this the guy came up to me in the grocery store and said, hey, what do these things taste like? I said, well, kind of to me, they taste a little bit like cotton candy and cantaloupe and, I don't know, something. But they're good to me, and it's mild. Sometimes you can get them super sweet, and if you let them wait and get riper, they'll be sweeper. Sweet, sweeper. Sleep. Oh, my God. Sweeter. <laughs> can't even talk so those are the things that you want these little pods here y'all see that and look see how ooh, see how ripe it got on this end it's like mush y'all see that look look it got so ripe the outside is like mush mushy you hear that and see that so like that, that's not, that's too ripe. That's gonna go to the black soldier fly. Cause it's mushy, it's like stringy. Stringy like, and mushy. So you don't want it too ripe, but it's kind of hard. You gotta like, it's kind of a, what do you call it? A technique, a process, a, um, a um, what do you call that? I'm trying to think of the word. Um, a, an art form to learn when these are ready um, if you pull it if you get it when it's too not ripe enough it's not gonna be as sweet but at the same time you want it ripe enough you know so it's, it's just kind of hard sometimes to think okay I'm gonna cut it now and you gotta like it's a waiting game so you gotta be ready don't go out of town for a few days and come back okay look these pop popped right out look this is the whole, and it smells funny when it's getting right. It has a weird smell to it, like, I don't know. Probably most of you won't like the smell. But the fruit itself, okay, so there's the whole pod. See, and then you just pop open the pod, and there's the seed. Take that little skin off. There's another skin on the seed that once you cook it, you have to take off. And that's it. Open it up like that. So, so good. 
you can make pulled fake vegetarian pulled pork out of this because you can um you can uh cook it and it's like texture of pulled pork and then you just put your pork sauce on there and you've got your fake pulled pork supposedly if you were on a desert island and you had just jackfruit it has all the nutrients in it um everything that you would need to survive so imagine a fruit having protein <laughs> that's hard to believe isn't it so i'm going to get started on this doing the fi fast hopper uh filming and then you guys can watch that if you have any questions put them um at the, in the comments and ask me any questions that you might have. I'm getting these ready for freeze dry because I love to freeze dry these. Um, and I'll take you through the process in this video through the freeze dry process, okay? Okay, you guys, this is taking a long, long time, so I'm just going to keep going. I just wanted to pause here and say that I'm separating all of the um, seeds, jackfruit seeds. And I got this much done so far, and um, I decided I'm going to continue cutting. Got my towel here. I'm going to continue continue cutting this way instead of lengthways and um, hopefully you guys can see everything I'm doing. So I'm going to cut the bottom of this up. Whew. That's the stem right there. And uh, Maybe I'll just keep going this way with it. All right. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut it this way and then show you. This, I think the bottom, the back of this is not as right. I don't know if I can see. Let's see. There we go. Sorry. don't want to budge. I'm going to turn it around this way. Get better leverage. Okay, now. There we go. There we go, you guys. I just wanted to just see how big that core is. So. Alright, and then you just to cut that core that way you get the whole pod if you can cut around and get that core so i'm going to get back to the hyper filming and um i think i told you guys already let me show you we just pop out the seed out of that pod like that okay 
All right, let me get to it. Okay, I got. I want to show you guys something. So, remember I told you there's like a sap, a like um. Can y'all see that white uh, pe petroleum type sap substance on there? Look. Right here, you see it? I don't know if I'm getting close enough for y'all to see. See that white? Anyway, it's like a white sap. And I've got these both cut, the core cut out. Woo, it's like a pineapple core. And um, now it's going to be easier for me to get these pods out, each one. See all those little white, hairy, fibery? That you don't want. Okay, so let me do that one. Ooh, this side of the fruit's not as ripe as the other side. I just want to show y'all how this will separate and make it easier for you. All right, let me get back to work. Okay, I want to share something with y'all. My gloves were getting so sticky that the petroleum was just too much, so... I got me some coconut oil and I put it on my fingers on my gloves and it's helping it helping that a lot so if y'all have that problem it doesn't always happen Dep every jackfruit is different <laughs> so if that does happen just get some coconut oil you can clean up your utensils with it you can clean everything with it but it helps this stuff slide off your fingers instead of getting sticky just want to tell y'all that everybody that is a lot of seeds I am exhausted my feet hurt so bad my knee hurts so bad my legs hurt so bad I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator um, probably gonna microwave these real quick and then I'm gonna finish it off tomorrow and then that will make my jackfruit seed hummus okay and this I'm going to go ahead and put on the freeze dry. I'm going to soak it in, uh, rinse it with water. And I'm going to put it in the freeze dry um, trays. And clean this mess up a little. And then I will show you guys what it looks like on the, on the freeze dry trays. Put it in the freezer and get it ready for freeze drying and continue with this video. Just clean it up pretty good with that coconut oil. You see? And just a little coconut oil. And then you can use some soap or whatever. 
This thing is great, you guys. You can use it for so many things. People make people make purses and bags out of these. Out of that chick out of the chicken food bags, but you could do it out of a dog food bag. You could flip it over and make it just white. I'm not very good at sewing, so if y'all do that, send me pictures. Okay, you guys. So I rinsed the jackfruit. You probably don't have to do that, but I rinsed it and now I'm drying it so that there's not too much moisture because the freeze dryer takes out all the moisture and the least moisture you can have, the better, the, the quicker it's going to take. So I'm just taking out all the moisture from rinsing it, using my clean, fresh towels, load up the freeze dryer, freeze, harvest right freeze dryer trays. And there's one. And then I'll put aluminum foil and then uh, freeze it 24 hours. And then I'll put it in the freeze dryer. Okay. I can probably put a little bit less on each tray so it goes quicker, freeze dries quicker. So. I'll take some of those. Take some from Paul to pay Peter. I don't know. How do you say that? <laughs> Let's see. Mix it up. Spread it out. There. Well, I think it's good enough. All right. So... Now I'm just going to put aluminum foil, put them in the freezer, and then we'll go to the freeze dryer with it. And this is for me and Louie, so let's see. I'll take the phone over there and we'll show you Louie. Louie, would you like some jackfruit? Yummy. Yummy jackfruit. Oh my goodness, so good. You're way, way good. Yumsy. Oh, it's so yummy. No? Here. There you go. What, you changed your mind? <laughs> you like the first one? Okay, I guess we'll give it to the chickens or the... Or to the soldier flies. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. He's like, I thought you was giving me some meat. No? You don't want it? <laughs> okay. I guess he's passing on that. Okay. I got it all in the microwave some microwave steamer pretty much rice cooker steamer but it's microwave and i'm putting that in the microwave probably 10 minutes you want the inside of the bean to be soft so there you go 
We are putting the jackfruit now into the freeze dryer. What's that? Messy. And I... Oh, and one. one more. And uh, one thing, see it's all frozen. One thing I want to tell you is I did a freeze dry session already. And so I pretty much didn't do a defrost. I just said no defrost and then I pushed continue and got the this thing to continue working. So it's non-stop now. <laughs> two sessions in a row. So I like to wash down this with a wet rag. That way, let's see if you can see. Then I want to get the seal. The seal to be kind of from this. Okay, see that black ring right there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It needs to be mm -hmm. fat all the way around. And see, when you use a rag and you wet it, it makes a perfect seal. I figured that out. Yes. All right, and then I'm going to hit. Oh, close the drain valve. Very important. Close the drain valve. Yep. And hit continue. All right, that's probably going to be now 30 hours. We'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, everybody, let's check. Um, it was probably ready about two hours ago, which would have made it 24 hours, but I didn't have time to check, so I added more dry time. You can add more. So now I'm going to check it, and here's how you do it. You push the down arrow until it goes to zero, and then it says... Uh, open drain, drain valve. Don't touch anything yet because we're not sure. So it's going to make a noise. And then watch the door. You can turn the handle and it'll open the door by itself. It's kind of, the first time it happened, it creeped me out. Woohoo, like a ghost. All right, I'm going to wipe this water. I don't want to get any water on my product. Wipe all this condensation off. And I'm going to check it with my hands. It's better to check with your hands because clean your hands really good and see if you can feel anything is cold. That tray feels dry. Anything cold means it's wet. All right. I believe we're going to be able to turn this off. Look at how the... Oh, look. Look at this. Look at how when it pulls the water out, it, ha it see the gap? It lifts the silicone mat up off the tray. You see that? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Let me see. You lift me little... up. Oh my god. Okay, so it's ready. So here I'm going to do. Uh, you can defrost, but to save electricity because it's about 80 degrees in my house, I'm going to do no defrost. There, it didn't want to listen to me. Do, 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 so do, now do. I'm going to take these out. You can pause it and meet me in the kitchen. Okay. So, this was the tray I was concerned about a little. So, you know what I might do? It, it feels dry, but listen. I got the tea kettle going in there, so it's making noise over this, I think. You see? Mmm. Mmm. My favorite. Mmm. Yeah. So, let's put... The oxygen uh, oxygen absorbers in these two bags. And let me go seal. I'm gonna pause it real quick because I'm gonna go seal this bag up. Okay, so we'll load this bag up. Got it labeled. I love me some jackfruit. Woo! I am wondering that we might not need two bags. I might be able to just do one bag. Let's see. And if you suspect, oh, you can always. Uh, break it in half and then fill the center and if the center feels if the center feels cold don't put it in the dollar bag you need to eat it that way 
All right, let's see. Let me do this one in before I seal that one up and see how much we might be able to do two bags. Make sure you wash your hands real good because this is, you don't want to put bacteria in this bag that's going to be 20 years. Right, Boris? Mm-hmm. Those feel cold? No, I just. No, it felt like for a second there something was cold. Maybe my imagination. <clears throat> There's some bags in there that I did early on when I first got the freeze dryer that I guarantee you are probably already going bad. Because I mm. put some in there that had, oh, you know, snap. I don't know which one was. So when we open the bag, we'll know. Ooh. I'm sure that these are not going to last 20 years because I eat them up so fast. So here's what I'm going to do. These two are we have one more. I'm going to move this so y'all can see how I see up how I how I get all the air out. Can you see? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I try to like open it up real good here without crushing the fruit because it's a little more fragile once it's freeze dried. And I squeeze as much of the air out as possible. And I've got that oxygen absorber in there. And we're going to seal that in a minute. Shake it and let it settle in. Now, I decided that this tray, some of it was iffy, but it feels like it's okay. But it doesn't matter because I need to restore my snack jar. So, I'm going to put this in my snack jar. Make sure that you use a jar with a lid, a mason jar. Don't use one of those fancy jars that have a rubber seal thingy. Pause it a second. I'm going to go get the jar and show them back. You see these kind of jars with this little rubber gaskets? I mean, you can hear the air hissing, look. But air still gets in there. Moisture still gets in there. And those apples? Yeah, but look. Let me get a piece. They're not they're not really crunchy anymore. Mm, mm, so mm, mm -hmm, don't use right. these because it, it it won't last you a month. I mean, a week is okay, but if you want this jar to last you a month for snacks, or if you want this to last 20 years on the shelf, mm -hmm. you can, you know, I don't know if it'll last 20 years on the shelf, but it might last a few years. The Mylar bags are your best bet, but this will last a very long time in these mason jars, mm -hmm. okay? So, and then you could even use a regular jar, like a peanut butter jar or something, as long as it has a, a, a good seal, you know, lid. But these mason jars I found are the very best for the freeze freeze dry stuff. Uh -oh, I put two little chunks in there. There. And this is what I have as a snack. Sometimes when you eat dinner, you feel like, oh man, I want a treat, you know? And I'll do this instead of candy or a cookie or something. So and I've got oxygen absorbers in there too. So Anyway, that is the uh, end of our... Oh, oh, no, it isn't. Let's go over here. Let's go over here and uh, seal these. Seal Team 6? Yes. <laughs> All right, so this is the Harvest Right sealer. And you want to just put it right above the zipper, the Ziploc part. Turn it on high, and then you're going to press down. It's about 10 seconds usually. The light goes off when it's ready. And then I go up another two times right above that mark. And then I do another one right at the top here. Now, if you wanted to, you could seal it down at the bottom here. 
if you wanted to, you could put it in there and press it down and seal it right there. But I, if I want to reuse that bag, I don't want to do that. So I could tear this off and then reuse the bag and then I can seal it here at some point if I want to do that. So let's do this one. Okay. All right, that one's done. Ready for 20 years. And this is gonna go in my mouth. So, everybody, thanks for watching. And um, I hope you have a beautiful day. And if you're in bed and you're about to go to sleep, I hope you have sweet dreams. And if you can't sleep, watch one of our sleep videos on the playlist. Show you guys real quick my collection here of my freeze-dried stuff. And like I said, the mason jars are better. Jackfruit, strawberries, purple sweet potato, and apples. Guys, look at this at Sprouts. It's almost $20, $19. It's a rip-off, look. Look, it's almost the size of my hand, it's tiny. Compared to the one that I got for $12, it was three or four times bigger than this. What a rip off. Oh my goodness. And it's molded.